Steve Merrifield owns a high-end sporting goods shop. After 27 years in business, he'd been preparing to sell it. So it's very hard, you know, All the records for potential buyers stored on his computer server. So Merrifield was more than concerned when he realized all of his data had been frozen. The last words I remember is, this is not good. This is not good. It turned out hackers had taken control of his machine and flashed a message. For $3,000, Merrifield could have his data back. But it didn't stop there. He'd have to fork over an additional $1,000 for each week he didn't comply. He'd become a victim of what's being called ransomware. Had you ever heard the term ransomware before? No, no. And I, I can say that it's, you know, appropriately named you feel victimized, you feel helpless. Ransomware is becoming so pervasive that it prompted the FBI to put out a warning. The Bureau says it's getting dozens of complaints each day. It's, it's one of the more destructive pieces of malware because, you know, they'll encrypt those files and if you don't pay, they can just delete them. Bruce Snell of the computer security firm McAfee says the hackers use such sophisticated methods that it's virtually impossible to recover your data. It's believed most are operating overseas, so tracking them down has become futile as well. One reason some apparently fall for the scam is the messages look like they're from the government, accusing users of things like child pornography. It frightens people and, pay, and kind of preys on their, their, uh, their fear. In retrospect, the amount of grief that this will cause us would have been well worth the ransom, but that wasn't the approach we took. Steve Merrifield never did pay the ransom, nor did he get his data back even after taking his computer to some of the best experts in the industry. After 10 days of diligence, they uh, regret to inform me that this, they cannot recover the data. It's believed that some of these hackers are making anywhere from fifty to $60,000 a day by targeting certain countries. The FBI says under no circumstances should you ever give them any money, even if you're in a desperate situation. Of course, it's another reminder to always back up your data and be careful what you click on. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.